welcome back in final part of this buy, which is part two. Best Buy sells consumer electronics and a variety of related merchandise, including software, video games, music, mobile phones, digital cameras, car stereos, and video cameras. In addition to home appliances, washing machines, dryers, and refrigerators in an intermission sales environment. <laughs> Under the Geek Squad brand, Best Buy offers computer repair, warranty service, and accidental service plans. Best Buy provides an online community forum for members where consumers can discuss product experiences, ask questions, and get answers from other members or retail product experts. The building exteriors of Best Buy, branded stores are typically light brown, with the entrance designed to look like a blue box emerging from the structure. Corporate employees operated under a results-only work environment from 2005 until March 2013, when the management style was abandoned by Best Buy CEO Hubert Jolie. As of October 29, 2016, Best Buy operated 1,026 Best Buy, 331 Best Buy mobile standalone stores, and 28 standalone Pacific sales stores in the U.S. <laughs> Best Buy also operated 135 Best Buy and 53 Best Buy mobile standalone stores in Canada and 18 Best Buy stores and 5 Best Buy Express stores in Mexico. <sighs> Best Buy exited the European market in April 2013. Best Buy also reduces products under eight house brands. Kydex, discount electronic and computer equipment such as Blu-ray players, data and power cables, HDTVs, office supplies, storage media, and webcams. In it, storage products such as media storage, equipment bags, totes, and furniture for home theaters. <laughs> Insignia, electronic equipment, small appliances, and accessories including adapters, cables, HDTVs, mini refrigerators, and tablets. <sighs> Magnolia Design Center in select Best Buy stores, design and installation of custom home theater setups. Magnolia Home Theater in select Best Buy stores, high-end home theater selections for both audio and visual equipment, including 4K, 3D, and large televisions, projectors, receivers, and speakers. Modal, style-oriented mobile accessories, including Bluetooth speakers, cables, and cases. <laughs> Pacific sales in select Best Buy stores, high-end appliances. <sighs> Platinum, highest quality in-house brand for the company, producing many products such as cables, cell phone accessories, tablet accessories, and digital imaging equipment. <laughs> Rocket Fish, cables primarily used with home theater installation and setup, as well as on computer and gaming accessories. Rocket Fish Mobile, phone cases, gel skins, clips, and chargers for cell phones, GPS, and other exclusive high-end products. In 2000, two Florida consumers brought a lawsuit against the company, alleging that it engaged in fraudulent business practices related to the sale of extended warranties, or, more accurately, service plans. <laughs> Claim that store employees have misrepresented the manufacturer's warranty to sell its own product service slash replacement plan, and that Best Buy had entered into a corporate-wide scheme to institute high-pressure sales techniques involving the extended warranties, and that the company used artificial barriers to discourage consumers who purchased the complete extended warranties from making legitimate claims. <sighs> The company ultimately settled for $200,000, but admitted no wrongdoing. 
in 2014, Best Buy settled for $4.55 million in a class action lawsuit filed against them in April 2010 by consumers who claimed Best Buy was making unsolicited phone calls in contravention of the Telephone Consumer Protection Act. In the second quarter of 2007, Connecticut Attorney General Richard Blumenthal ordered an investigation into the company's use of an in-store website alleged to have misled customers on item sales prices. <laughs> In December 2007, the Los Angeles Times reported on the same issue in which some customers claimed they thought they were surfing the internet version of BestBuy.com at an in-store kiosk only. To learn that the site reflected in-store prices only. <sighs> In response, company spokesperson Sue Bush indicated the in-store kiosks were not intended for price match purposes and rather were a means to navigate in-store availability. <laughs> Since the initial investigation, a banner was placed on the in-store site to make its customers more aware of the difference. On April 26, 2008, the U.S. Federal Communications Commission, FCC, fined the company $280,000 for not alerting customers that the analog televisions it sold would not receive over-the-air stations after the digital transition on June 12, 2009. <laughs> the company challenged this ruling in May 2008 by the FCC, saying it wasn't as in compliance with current FCC regulations pertaining to the digital transition. Best Buy was one of several companies named in a 2007 report by Greenpeace for purchasing raw materials or manufactured products derived thereof from logging companies that, in the opinion of Greenpeace, contribute to unethical deforestation of Tagai in Canada. Since that time, however, the company launched what it calls Greener Together to increase the energy efficiency of its products and reduce consumer waste through more recyclable packaging and proper disposal of certain electronic components such as rechargeable batteries and empty ink cartridges. As a way to improve its image and past environmental issues, the company introduced a recycling program in 2009 that has since collected nearly half a billion pounds of consumer electronics and e-waste and is available at all their stores for a nominal fee. <laughs> These items are then handed over to certified recyclers in the U.S. for proper recycling. <sighs> the company's goal is to collect 1 billion pounds of recycling. It also has been named to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency Top 50 list of the largest green power purchasers. <laughs> In 2011, the company purchased nearly 119 million kilowatt hours of green power electricity generated from renewable resources such as wind, solar, geothermal, biogas, biomass, and low impact hydropower. In their attempt to combat child pornography, the FBI hired several Best Buy employees from the Geek Squad division to cover New York for them flagging potential targets. <laughs> In one incident, a customer brought in his computer for troubleshooting, which the Best Buy employee flagged as containing images of child pornography and reported to the FBI. <sighs> the customer was indicted for possession of child pornography, although the judge in the case later threw out nearly all the evidence against the defendant due to false and misleading statements made by an FBI agent while trying to secure a search warrant for the customer's house, and the government ultimately dropped the case. That's it for this news today. Thank you for watching. Make sure to hit a like, subscribe to our channel, and turn on post notifications for more great contents, and see you in episode 10. <laughs> Also, we like to say that we thank you for reaching 200 subscribers to our channel, which is marking the reach of the milestone of this channel. We're really proud of our contribution. <sighs> Anyways, again, thank you for watching this video. Hit the like, subscribe to this channel for more videos as it happens, and see you in episode 10.